Good afternoon. How your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin I'm doing? And your hubby too. How y'all little fam? It is, oh God, I don't even know what day it is today. Man, it is, what day is it today? Tuesday after this motherfucker. And yeah, y'all, your girl is up in the Mizzle. And yeah, y'all, we, we're on a mission. Let's just, let's just, just put it out there, right? So there's a particular foundation that's supposed to be coming out any day now, okay? They are really trying to be hush hush with the day that it's supposed to come out. Everybody that I don't went to at Sephora is like, I don't know when it's coming out, but it's coming out soon. It should be within the next week. Blah blah blah. Anyway, I've been wanting to get my hands on it before, um, before it's released, okay, so that I could show you guys and get it up in a first impressions for you guys because I know several other YouTubers that actually got it at a recent launch party of theirs. Y'all know I have to buy my shit. You know how it goes. But anyway, so. <laughs> I actually went and uh, managed to finagle them to actually get me the foundation, hold it for me and give it to me ahead of time. So I was able to buy the foundation today. So that video should hopefully be coming out very, very soon. It should actually be up by the time you guys see this video right here because I plan on turning around this video rather quickly because I really want you guys to check out this new foundation. It is actually a, a formal, a former holy grail foundation for me, okay? From back in the day day, the place where I needed to go was downstairs. I just came here to come to Sephora and that was it because I have to go back and do some more work. And I'm trying to beat the traffic. But there's so many motherfucking kiosks downstairs and every time you pass by a motherfucker, they're trying to talk to you, even if you're on the phone. I was on the phone with my girl Crystal and these motherfuckers are trying to talk and interrupting whatever the fuck you're doing. I'm like, I'm on the phone. I'm not going to stop in the middle of my phone conversation to talk about whatever the fuck you want to talk about. Don't get me wrong, I don't knock nobody's hustle, but I know if I see somebody on the phone, I'm not going to try to like interrupt, you know what I'm saying, what you doing on the phone to make a sale, because more than likely they're going to walk right past you, so I came upstairs, I took the long route here so I could get to the garage, <laughs> so that I could completely avoid having to hit them kiosks, I had at least three people try to interrupt me while I was on the phone with Crystal to try to sell me some shit, clearly I'm not buying nothing, but anyway, like I said, I don't knock nobody's hustle, it's just there's just some stuff you just don't do it. I, I I know if I was working at those things, I wouldn't be like, hey, 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 like when you on the phone. No. So anyway, I avoided them like the plague. Because all of the kiosks are down on this level, down the middle of this mall. So, and Sephora, which is way down there. So it's way, way, way down there. So I went clear on the opposite end of the mall just to avoid the kiosks. Anyway, so I got the foundation. You know what? Let me not go into any other stores. I was so gonna walk into forever because it's right there. I ain't doing it. One, I'm trying to beat the traffic. Two, I'm trying to get a lot of work done because I am finna go out and see my peoples up in Kansas and I'm excited. And we want to get up bright and early on Friday to leave because y'all know we always have trouble getting the fuck out of the house to go out of town. And they never, ever, ever believe us when we say we leave because we never leave when we say we're going to. So this time we are really, really gonna make it a point to try to leave. In the morning, we're gonna have breakfast, get coffee and walk out the dough. We're not even going to cook breakfast at home, okay, just so we can try to get out as early as we can so that we can go and enjoy all of Friday or most of Friday and all of Saturday and a good portion of Sunday. So, and it's supposed to be really nice this weekend in Kansas, so I'm really excited about that. I'm sad too a little bit because um, we were going to probably see if we could hang out with Bam and Jonathan. Y'all haven't seen us hang out with them in a while because of the wedding shit and everything these last few weeks. and family obligations and my dad and all that kind of stuff we just haven't seen him in a while and we tried to link up with him actually the other day um, when we went to celebrate Jessica's win but turns out like it got to be super late Juice got you know a little tired and you know people were just kind of hanging out you know you when you're just having a good time and you're kind of just chilling and it's like why ruin that moment like if you go someplace else you know you may not have you know it may not work out the way you want it to and it was kind of late at night you know and in the loo let me see if i even know where i parked shit um where did i fucking park oh i parked over here yeah um in the loo everything fucking closes here at like 1 30. not even 1 30 like 1 10 1 15 you know and if you're not already out where you're supposed to go 
by a specific time, it's almost pointless to try to attempt to go and meet up with anybody when it's super late because it's pretty much winding down, which is why we were just like, you know what, let's just stay where we're at. You know, we were in a good, you know, good part of town where we weren't gonna have to go, you know, and deal with having to try to find parking and all that kind of shit. There was a parking lot there, so we were just like, you know what, we'll just meet up with them, you know, another time, and it turns out we're going to Kansas, so anyway. We will definitely be seeing them because they wanted to link up for the 4th, um, but we'll be, you know, in Kansas. Anyway, all right, let me see if I can find my daggone, my daggone keys. Hold up. All right, y'all, I'm back at the cribbo, and I'm about to get on these little dishes and shit. Your girl has not been working in her office. I don't even want to show you the, 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 the table, but your girl has not been working in her office. She was working from as usual, the kitchen table as of late, because I don't like eating in my office, so if I have to eat like breakfast or lunch or dinner, I will eat it in here, and then I'll just work from here, and I left my computer here last night because I was working late night last night. Um, yeah, so anyway, so yeah, clearly I've got my little stuff over here. I've got all my stuff. Okay, so I didn't even have a chance to show you guys a couple quick things. Um, number one, let me show you guys those little, um, septum piercing the fake ones the faux ones that i got from claire's the other day i never showed the icing but you can get them at claire's too in case you guys are looking for them i have a couple more that are coming in the mail but i just wanted to get my hands on some since i knew the icing was right around the corner from where i was the other day when i went shopping i really wasn't shopping i was getting my nails done anyway here they are bam so this is one of them I thought it was so cute. I have not worn tur tur turquoise. I can't talk. Me and my mom, my mom and I, we both love turquoise. And neither one of us have worn it at all this season. I used to have a lot of like really fun, pretty turquoise pieces. My I would use in my mom's stuff. And neither one of us have really worn any. So I'm trying to let it focus. But anyway, that's one. And then the other one is this one right here. I took it out the package just to see what it would kind of sort of look like on me. I don't know. It depends for me on the type of hair that I would essentially wear with the septum piercing or the faux septum piercing to see if it's something that I would actually like. Um, so I'm going to play around with it with makeup looks I'm going to be shooting tomorrow and hopefully I can get that foundation video done tomorrow too so you guys can get like a little peek at what it would look like um, on if I decide to wear it for the video I don't want it to be a distraction because my first impressions of videos I like to focus primarily on the, 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 pro the product you know um, so I'm not going to wear it probably the whole video but I will put it on so you guys can see it maybe for some of the other videos that I shoot so you guys can see how it looks um, anyway, it's faux, so if you don't like it, you know, you can take the motherfucker out. You know how it goes. That's why I'm happy they're faux. I would never um, pierce my septum. Mm. But I, just going through the cartilage, I think, would hurt like a bitch, too. Any of you guys have real septum piercing, and does it hurt like a bitch? Let me know down below. Anyway, something else that came in the mail that I'm really excited about. Okay, so this is, okay, you guys know. I do do reviews for companies and stuff clearly as far as like wigs and stuff, but I've been just buying my own fucking wigs and I've been just having fun playing and experimenting with um, lengths and color now. Um, I'm actually getting ready to color some hair when I get back from KC. Um, so this curly hair that I showed you guys on the other channel. So I'm gonna color it myself, I'm gonna do it myself, and then hopefully I will get enough nerve to make the wig out of it. Um, so you guys, I'll show you guys how, what I use too, because I really don't wanna do anything too complex with it, but I definitely wanna change the color, because I feel like I have a lot of black already. Um, and I'll always have black wigs, you know, those are pretty standard. But this one is really different. I'm trying to stock up on my fa family. Oh my God. I'm trying to stock up on my um, fall winter wigs and the reason I say that is because they are in the winter and the fall I have a tendency to rock more color when I say that I wear more of the blues and the purples and the more experimental colors like reds and you know when I was that fire crotch red that was when um, you know it was like I, I want to say that was during the fall and the winter I don't usually wear those colors a lot during the spring and the summer I usually have a tendency to either stick with black or I stick with browns or I stick with like a blondish colors um, although I haven't rocked blonde yet but it's coming anyway um, so I'm doing something totally different and I've been trying to get my hands on this fucking wig. If I can find this wig online, cause it was sold out every fucking where I looked, if I can find it online, I will show you guys, I will leave it in the description box down below. I bought this myself and, um, 
I probably ordered it from two or three different places and all three places would be like, oh yeah, we got it in stock in the color. It's not about the wig. The wig is available everywhere, but the color is not available hardly anywhere. And this particular color, I wanted this wig in because I thought it was so badass and it'd be perfect for the fall. So I'm not gonna probably wear it. I'll show it to you guys, of course, in a video or something. Um, but I'm not gonna probably wear it much until fall and winter. And you'll see a lot more fun colors coming from me in the fall and the winter because I wear a lot more blacks and jackets. You know what I'm getting at. Anyway, let me show y'all the wig. I'm just talking to y'all. Okay, here we go. Ready? Bam! Look at the color. Tell me that, well, it's not, not out the bag. I just got it in the mail. This is the, it's a wig, another it's a wig. And the color that I wanted was the TT Berg. Okay, so if I find it, I will try to link it in the description box down below or if I can find the wig itself or anything like it, I will leave it in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. So I'll leave whatever links I can find for any of the wigs that I've been telling you guys about down in the description box because you guys have been seemingly um, liking my short wigs. This wig right here though, do you see that color on this woman? I mean, yes, honey, okay? It just looks so cute, and what I would probably do is move this part over more. Now, keep in mind, this looks like it's parted to the right, so, you know, you already know I like my stuff, my part on the left, but I'm gonna move this so there's more bang over my eye. You guys know I love that sleek, straight. This is abnormal for me to do something short and curly at the same time. I love curly, but I'm more a sleek, straight person um, that I can, because then I can curl it or wand it or do whatever I want with it, and Juice prefers straight. Um, yeah, so the color is TT Berg, so burgundy, essentially. That's the color that's the hardest to find. It's sold out pretty much everywhere. Now, by the time this video comes out, it may be available. So like I said, if I find this wig, anywhere that I find it, whether it's in this color or not, I will leave it in the description box and link it below so that you guys can get your hands on it, even if you don't want to get in this color because it comes in other colors too, but it is so cute on. So the first opportunity that I get to put this on or try it on or wear it, I will make sure, maybe tomorrow when I'm playing around um, with the makeup and doing my first impression, I'll slip it on for you guys so you guys can see it on me. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just talking. And I'm about to play some music. I'm about to get on this kitchen and fucking clean the fuck up and throw away paperwork and everything. So let me get to that because you should be home any minute. I got to let the dogs out. I need to drink some more water. <laughs> uh, we're going to the gym. We're meeting up with Mark actually to go to the gym. So let me get a move on because we're going to go earlier today because last night we went too late. And that's why my ass is feeling all groggy and off and everything today. So um, we're meeting with our boy Mark to get our workout on. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So anyway, yeah, I'll try to shoot as much of the workout as I possibly can, because I know you guys like seeing that, so I'll see you guys in a second. What up, yo? At the Jimmy Gym. About to get it in, okay? So yeah, man, still sore. I'm st wa still walking like I got a permanent dick up my damn crotch. Just walking with the slow bop, y'all. Walking with the slow bop. So, um. Yeah, we are here upstairs already. Juice is on the Stairmaster. Mark met us here. He just got here too. He's on the Stairmaster, so I'm stuck on the Stairmaster. On top of the fact that I done forgot my damn headphones. I forgot my beats and I forgot my, uh, uh, the SMS Audio 50 Cent headphones. I was charging it specifically to go to the gym today and left it on the charger. So thankfully, I have those little throwaway ones, those little tiny ones that I got and bought here when I left them back home last time. There's Mark and Juicy J getting it in on the Stairmaster. Woo, yeah, no. Just so y'all know, if y'all don't already know, this is the worst and my least, this is my least favorite. I hate this machine. Like, I hate. And they changed the machine, which I don't know if I showed you guys. They changed them, they're like completely different now. Hopefully you guys can see. Giving y'all the views over here. Yeah, it's like all digital and all that shit. So anyway, uh, yeah, no, I'm not happy about doing this. But this is a great way to build your ass. And both Juice and I's ass from Ron's workout the other day is still fucking sore. We're nowhere near as sore as we were yesterday. Thankfully, we worked out some of that lactic acid being up in here. Um, however, I'm not looking for this. 
All right, here we go. Oh, let me show you. While the digital stuff is on, so it's called the Matrix. Nike, iPod type of situation. It's all technological and shit. So anyway, it's a it's a touch screen now versus and you know they changed out our treadmills here to the touch screen, so that's cool. No, it's cool. You can change your speed and all that shit right here. Y'all see my black ass is stalling. I do not feel like doing this, but I'm only gonna do this for like probably like 10 minutes. And then I'm probably gonna do what he's doing just to kind of change it up a little bit because I've been doing that one machine a lot. So I'm gonna do what he's doing. And I think we're just gonna all work out together. I gotta ask them to see what they're doing. They're already talking about basketball. So I'm gonna tune out and fuck with these stupid ass headphones that I got. Those little bullsh bullshit ass headphones. But I am connected to the Wi Fi. Man, shout out to the person who said that on my video when I told y'all that I was, you know, using Pandora and my, uh, my, uh, data shout out to y'all i mean i've been on the wi-fi here every time i walk in this door there's a specific spot you would log into that you can connect to where it stays connected so i always make sure i connect there and get right on it okay let me get to work okay i'll see y'all and i'll show y'all some of the workout if i can in here getting his ball on he's now a married man getting his ball on out of here married man came out of the house in what two weeks yeah <laughs> for real they went on their honeymoon and hey, this ain't no joke man. i'm this telling no you hey, the man. struggle is real for real when y'all get married it's too easy to get comfortable easy, and then man. look at me look at me i didn't stop hooping he, he, he kept getting hurt on. though. You had to stop. He he will eventually. Hey, hey, it happens. He, let them let them, he on his way. Let them get some uh, wings on their uh, on their marriage. It'll happen. And I know he loves the hoop. Uh, two more two more trips to Buffalo Wild Wings. Yep. And, uh, some drinks. They get settled he'll be, he'll in their new place. Too. Yep. <laughs> yep. He in the purple shorts. In case you guys are wondering, he's been down here for a good minute and a half. We had a good workout though today. I mean, great workout today. We could have gone a little longer, but we're starving. All of us are. Oh, Jesus. We're never going to get juice out of here. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Now we got both the motherfuckers on this shit. Jesus. Brick. Brick. Have y'all ever noticed how small, how short Juice's arms are? But. His arms always seem so short to me because they're so thick. <laughs> he got some little biceps on him. His dad used to always get say he has short arms for a 6'4 guy because he's a 6'4. Those are my, my arms, my manly arms. There, there, go ahead. I think he's done. Let's, let's check him out. Say what's up to the vlog. Say what's up. What's up? <laughs> They're talking about, uh, what is it, Destiny? Yeah. You know, Juice still hasn't played that game yet. I know he has. I keep, t he's obsessed he with the damn, like yes! I, mean, I, come, look, I don't even have a game anymore, I'm over there and he's at his house. And he stays on that damn game, it's ridiculous. Ugh. Hey, you gotta get Manish to let you do a, a gaming. You know what do? I wanted to do it on like, start twitching, but. You need to, you need to, man. They're exchanging handles, Destiny handles, but. The hubby has a two. See, this is not supposed to see. Look. And I got him Destiny all the mother damn games, and he hasn't touched not one. Except, we did touch Mortal Kombat. Okay, so, get this. Juice has been talking about doing a gaming channel for like the longest time because, you know, he loves playing on the PS4 or whatever the fuck they call that machine. And he's been actually talking about doing a gaming channel or setting up a gaming channel, just like his own channel or whatever, where he can just play games and y'all can play against him. Whatever, you know what I'm saying, however gaming channels work. Let us know if y'all would be down for that. Do any of y'all do that shit? Do y'all watch gaming channels? I know there's a few that I watch just because I like their commentary or whatever. I don't play it as much, but he does. So, yeah. 
you will have to let us know. Comment down below, be like, hey, start a gaming channel. But he totally wants to do it. So if you guys would be down, or if you guys would watch it or check it out, if any of you guys game and would totally be down for it, let me know down in the description box and thumbs up this video. Just holler at us down below. So that we know that's what it's about. What fitness people do you watch? Oh my god, there's like there's Fitness Blender, there is bodybuilding.com, they have like a whole YouTube channel. Um, there is, oh, there's so many people. Um, Cause I, I, I uh, read like Oxygen, Muscle Fitness, so all of those competitors and stuff, they have their own YouTube channels and stuff. There's a girl, Erin Stern. Um, what'd you say? No, do you know Amanda Latona? Everyone knows Amanda Latona. Oh! Look her up on, she's got the best ass in the business. Go on Instagram, if you have an Instagram, and check Aunt Amanda Latona. She's got like the most amazing freaking body you'll ever see. I mean like, like ass for days. Amanda Latona. Oh my God, like it's, seriously. Amanda Latona, y'all, check Instagram. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. But yeah, let us know about the gaming channel. Holla, holla. Because he wants to do it, but he doesn't know if y'all would watch or check it out or whatever. So let us know. Hey, we were just talking about the fact that you finna, you know, uh, slack off on this basketball shit because now you married and shit. Man, I'm lazy. I'm like, man, I gotta get in. I, didn't, I couldn't come. I didn't come yesterday because my allergies were acting up so bad. I was like, man, I'm about to go home. And I took two, I took, I took a Zyrtec. I took a Zyrtec and an Allegra. That mother's gonna start working until like 9 o'clock last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Flonase. Like, I have Flonase. Yeah, you got, Flonase is the bomb. I have Flonase and it didn't work. I was like, damn, yeah, I have all that stuff. It ain't working. I'm telling you. I'm getting juice. Get, get a juice. Up. My allergies are driving me crazy, man. You sound like a married man. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> man. Hey, welcome to married life. Married life. Hashtag married life. Hashtag married life, son. Hashtag I'm getting old. Hey, man. I ain't weighing you down like that now. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's 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 a that's a married struggle right there. I need some water. Hey, man. Yeah, we're done now. I'm gonna go wash my hands and shit. Do my this night. I told him this be at my eight. Something. I'm about to get your ass in trouble, talking about. He told me that she was gonna be home at 8. That was almost three hours ago. It's like, it's like 8.40. Oh. It's like 8.40 now. This shit don't play on. What up, yo? Please disregard the fact that I just ratchet rigged this motherfucker. Yo, oh. the fuck? <sighs> disregard the damn blinds behind me as well. Because the blinds are gonna get changed when we fucking change out this entire bathroom. This is a bathroom that I hardly ever show y'all because this is the bathroom that I have to actually get renovated. Okay, so these are just some old ass blinds we've had for a long ass time. So bear with me on that shit. Hold on one second. Let me go get my damn, uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I'm literally getting ready for tomorrow's day because I feel like I have food in my mouth. Okay, oh my god. Okay. See, this is the nighttime shit going on right now. So whatever the fuck you see, you already know. I'd be looking like shit. So here's the deal. Your girl's getting ready for tomorrow's work day because I have a shit ton of videos to shoot tomorrow as well. And I also am getting out of town here very shortly. So I want to kind of prepare for said trip. So I'm getting ready to wash a million and one brushes, okay? And y'all know, the only brushes I primarily use are Sedona Lace brushes. So, uh, yeah, anyway. And a lot of them are the Flat Top Kabukis, which are my absolute favorite, I almost want to say blush, my favorite brush that I use to apply liquid foundation. And since one of the items I'm going to be showcasing tomorrow is a liquid foundation, I am going to wash a few of these. Plus, I want to also have some brushes because all of my Flat Top Kabukis from my little pack here are completely dirty as you guys can see so yeah I have a lot of them I really do wear that I use the hell out of these I love them for uh, liquid foundations anyway um, I'll leave a link in the description box there's a disc discount code down below um, if you guys want to get your hands on Sedona lace brushes I love them I swear by them I've used them for years and um, was buying them before I even had any kind of association with them whatsoever before I got the discount code I feel like I have water making that noise my bad um, 
I'll leave it in the description box so y'all can check it out if you guys want to. You guys can buy them in sets or you can buy them individually. So one I would definitely recommend is the FB07 brush for sure, which is the flat top kabuki. Um, the synthetic brush line is my favorite, which is of course the pink, um, the pink line with the um, black tip, which you can't be able to, you know, you can't tell right now because clearly it's dirty. So anyway, that's what I'm getting ready to wash. Um, highly recommend those brushes. The synthetic line is my favorite line. The ones that are pink with a little black tip. You know, <laughs> I like my tips black. <laughs> Anywho, so okay, getting ready to do my the washing of said brushes. Okay, so I don't even know if I have my. Um, I don't have any real particular routine for washing my brushes. It really just depends on what's available. A lot of times I use um, baby shampoo. That's probably the most gentle. Um, I use, sometimes I use Dawn. Uh, it just really depends, you know what I mean? On how badly dirty they are. And these are extremely dirty, so we are really, um, usually I also um, soak them a little bit, but today I really didn't have the opportunity to do so. So anyway, um, I ain't got one of them little fancy, fancy little mitts that you see out here on the YT that gets them all extra clean and shit. I use my hand to wash these. Look, see? I use my hand, which I'm making a mess by showing y'all. But anyway, yeah, man, Juice is uh, downstairs playing video games. We just got done eating. He made a little bit of, you know, leftover stuff from the office for me, which was great because it gave me a little time to do a little bit of work. I am trying to do some pre-recording tomorrow so that I all I have to do is really edit because that's the part that takes... Actually, all of it takes forever, but I just want to kind of be a little bit ahead of the game. So I'm washing some brushes for the the uh, first impression video tomorrow, and also washing some brushes so I have just general brushes to freaking use for my makeup. Generally speaking, over the weekend and in general, so that's what I'm doing right now. I also have a glass of wine next to me, a little small glass. I'm not doing anything major, but I didn't sleep last night. And I'm like, you know what? I need something that's going to put my ass to sleep beside some dick. <laughs> you know, we take care of that too. But, you know. So, yeah, that's the dealio. Yes. And then I just hang them up to dry. I've got a couple of items that I use to dry my brushes. Um, but since I need this for tomorrow to do a couple things, it'll be cool. Anyway, but yeah, yeah I just want to come in, bug y'all real quick. Workout was great. It was fabulous. I absolutely positively needed it, especially after these last few weeks. So it feels good to be getting back to my normal, my normal routine of being in the gym on a consistent basis. And it always helps when you have people to go to the gym with, you know, to work out along with you. It changes up the routine. Y'all saw Ron the other day. He gave us a kick-ass workout. Those are always fun. And then when Mark comes in, he adds an extra element to the mix and it just kind of keeps us moving. So we just rotate between sets. And that's always fun when you have a partner to work out with. I mean, I always work out with Juice, but you know, sometimes we work on different body parts and he's doing something completely different. So it's always good to have some new blood in there. So yeah, that was cool today. But yeah, we're going to the gym tomorrow. Hopefully it all pans out and we do legs and abs. Y'all know Juice don't like working on his legs, but I have to. So I'm a thick woman and I like to eat. So hence why I stay in that gym and make sure I stay as healthy as possible and so that I can enjoy myself when it's time to enjoy myself. And I know I'm gonna indulge over the weekend. So anyway, I just want to pop in and say what's up and good night to y'all. Juice, like I said, is playing video games. I'll see if he can say a little good night or something to y'all before uh, the video is over. But um, yeah, y'all, I hope you guys are having a great week and hope you guys had a great July 4th because by the time you guys see this video right here, it's more than likely going to be after the 4th of July. So hope you guys had a great, safe 4th of July, okay? And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great week. Whenever this damn video comes out, check out the description box down below for anything I mentioned because I always tell y'all a million and one things and I always forget what I tell y'all. So check the description box out for any links to videos that I might have mentioned or random things that I might have mentioned like the Sedona Lace brushes and shit. And I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll, of course, let you say bye to y'all too since you haven't seen him in a little bit. So yeah, he'll be right back. What's up, y'all? I told you I would get juice on the camera before he went to sleep. Oh. This is how life is for me now. <laughs> so you bought me the PlayStation and now I'm down there playing it. Yep. Yeah. But it's hella comfortable. Yeah. Good position. This is a different one for you, for, the, for, for playing games, that is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
He's all hella comfortable. Look at him. Yeah, I don't even know if y'all can even yeah, see him. Yeah, comfortable, man. Just laying down, playing <laughs> can y'all 2K, even see his ass? 15, playing my league. Mm -hmm. I'm blowing him out. And uh, after this, then we're going to shut it down for a minute. It's comfortable, though, for me. Mm -hmm. He probably can't see me, but I'm laying on his chest. He never lays down when he plays video games. No. Anyway. Anyway, well, I already said goodnight to y'all. I'm going to let you say quick goodnight because I know he's going to shut it down here in a second to go to sleep. And, uh, yeah, I just got done editing a very long vlog, y'all. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It was um, vlog number 768, if you haven't checked it out. I took you out like with me all damn day. What was, number was that? It was lonely. Vlog 768. Dang, a lot. I know. Can you believe how many vlogs we have now at this point? Jesus. Cray cray. I know, right? It's I didn't nice. realize it was that much. Mm -hmm. but anyway, it's vlog, yeah, 768. If I'm not mistaken, it's like a 40-something minute vlog. I just got done editing it, so after washing the brushes. So I'm ready for tomorrow's videos, which I'm excited to show you guys. I'm waiting for this thing to come in the mail so I can show you guys. I may pop on that red wig I showed you guys earlier, so if I do, I'll show it to you guys tomorrow. Anyway. You want to say goodnight, babe? Hold on, let me get up so y'all can say goodnight. Yeah, y'all. Thanks for rocking with us for another day, and um, we're going to holler at y'all tomorrow. So, uh, peace. We love y'all. Y'all see these two fingers? Yeah, there you go. All right. Peace. We love y'all, and uh, we're going to holler. I'm going to hit this three. Did you hit it? Yeah. Oh, he I got it. it. Hey. <laughs> Anyway, y'all, we love y'all. We'll see y'all manana. Are you excited about thumbs up if you're excited about the fact that we're back to doing daily vlogs? Because I know for a second it was all sporadic and random and whatever because we were so busy with you gonna block my shot though? You gonna no, block my shot? My chin was itching. Damn! Anyway. Um yeah, thumbs up the video because we're back to doing just daily vlogs again, which I hope you guys are enjoying. I really do. Um but for a minute it was a little chaotic, so it was hard for us to keep up with doing daily vlogs. For well, us, I mean me, because I edit them all. So, in addition to the other shit. So anyway, hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. Thumbs up if you are. And we love y'all. Subscribe if you haven't yet, if you're watching. And we'll see you tomorrow.